Hello guys, this is Migo. Yesterday I saw this animation by uh, GN Romain in Instagram. I uh, will not play this animation because it has uh, a sound or music and I don't want to get a copyright, but I will leave a link uh, in the description to you uh, so you can see uh, this animation. So I made uh, one, uh, he, did it, he did it in uh, Houdini, I think so. Uh, I said why not uh, make something similar in Blender and uh, this is what I made <laughs> Now uh, you see when uh, when the the speaker hits the ground and uh, he start the uh, the ground start to react to the music now i will show you how to make this effect i uh, did a long video about it's uh, it was one hour and i know nobody like to watch uh, one hour video so let's make a new uh, a new project just to show you how to make uh, the effect let's uh, add it a uh, cube I scale it down like this and uh, apply the scale like this apply the scale now let's uh, extrude this face like this and this face like this just to show you uh, just uh, to show you the effect and uh, like this and uh, we need to make these faces react to the sound how we gonna do that we gonna do that by using the shape keys let's add two shape keys one basic and one uh, key one then go to the select the key one then go to the edit mode and uh, move this uh, move this face on the the y axis like this now see when uh, when we go to the object mode and uh, play with this value see how the sh the the face uh, move now let's do, do the same uh, to the other face like this and the e in uh, the x axis now see the two faces react now let's make a ground uh, let's do this this is just imagine uh, this as a speaker you know let's uh, do a cylinder like this scale it like this now let's uh, extrude like this now let's add two shape keys like this and uh, select the uh, don't select the basic just select this key go to this face and extrude it along of the z axis like this now see when we play with this value how the the shape how the shape goes up now how we gonna make uh, our music our uh, shapes react to the music it's very easy we, go, we need to go to the animation tab and select this delete any keyframes on your uh, timeline now we need to add a new keyframe here select this key one and go here uh, to this value and press keyframe right there now you're gonna go to the graph editor and go to the key and bake uh, bake sound to f curves and you need to select your uh, sound or your music i have this uh, this sound that i used so select it now we have uh, we have uh, our uh, music and our uh, keyframes so basically what uh, this technique do is uh, convert the uh, the sound to keyframes so uh, see how uh, the faces now react to the music uh, you can't hear the music so uh, let's uh, add the, our music in the video editor like this and uh, let's go to our music in the D like this Just one minute 
Oh, oops. What is it? Let's add our music, drag it right there in the channel one. Like this, guys. Drag it uh, until it hits. Uh, right here in zero frame and uh, you can uh, display the waves here <laughs> now let's see our animation you need uh, to, to use the same uh, music the music uh, that you convert to keyframe uh, you need to be the same music that you imported from the, for the view uh, uh, the video edit so let's see how uh, our uh, cube react <laughs> let's add uh, a bevel so you can see better now we added just a bevel modifier see now Now let's make the same steps to this uh, to this ground. So we uh, we need a key right here, and we go to the uh, to the graph editor. You need to be in the graph editor, and you go to the key, bake sound to curves, and select the same music and hit hit like this. And <laughs> Let's add the bevel so you can see better. Apply the scale and let's see. Now. <laughs> I think it's better to add the. Let's add a subdivision subsurface better. Now let's do this, do this, and do this. Let's uh, bring this down a little bit like this. Okay, let's fix our uh, geometry a little bit. Let's do like this. Let's see now. So I do the loop right there. it's looking good so what we going what i did in the in the first video sorry i wasn't uh, activating the keys ops so what i basically did i just uh, animated this uh, this i uh, added a, an empty like this and parent our uh, speaker to the empty like this now we're gonna put keyframe right there and go to the and see when the sound uh, like change the sound here we need this uh, this part we need to the cube to hit the ground so let's uh, keyframe right there and see and keyframe right here Now we need to uh, we need Now we need the ground to start from this uh, this keyframe from the 80 from the 80 keyframe so let's uh, select the ground and go to the keys and uh, go here to unbake curve so uh, now the our curves to become a keyframes we can scale it or uh, decrease it or uh, do anything with it we need to delete delete all these keyframes so uh, our object don't move uh, until uh, our speaker hits it you know what uh, i mean so let's uh, see now 
like this, uh, you see it's not moving uh, right now. See guys, now uh, what uh, you're gonna do is just uh, you need to uh, duplicate this and scale it up a little bit like this and duplicate it again scale it a bit like this and move it down and uh, now you you will get uh, you will get this effect let's go to the timeline But uh, the problem here, not the problem, but uh, our effects, it's like uh, every every uh, object that uh, we duplicated, it's moving in the same time. I see now. It's uh, moving in the same time. We need some offset between uh, the first and the second and the th third uh, object. So uh, we need to move this, uh, the second the second object we need uh, to select all those keyframes and move it uh, by one frame or two frames like this we need to go uh, it start from 81 so let's move that uh, let's move it to 82 like this and uh, let's go to third and move it to 83 now let's see I think we need a little bit of uh, offset. Let's uh, move this to 83 and let's uh, go here and move this to 84. Let's see now. Uh, we need uh, like uh, the animation to start here first then go here then go here so let's uh, i think we need uh, another keyframe another offset so let's go to 84 let's go to 85 now let's You know you can play with those keyframes you know you, you can offset them as you like i mean i like this uh, animation you can uh, uh, do some materials and stuff let's go to the render view and let me use ev because this animation because it will take time with cycle and uh, my gpu is not power enough let's uh, add some materials to the ground like this white and uh, like this <laughs> And that's it guys, I hope you like the, the video and uh, leave like, comment and uh, uh, more videos like this is coming. I, uh, I hope you uh, learned something today and uh, thank you.